<laughs> so, I luckily I had some wine before I watched this movie yesterday. Yeah, because how much wine? Do you have a, a whole box of wine? Two or? big glasses. Yeah. And help. it helped. I'm so happy I did that because oh, good. it was really scary. So it what? was really scary. It was that scary? Yes, to me. Damn. Uh, yeah. So you did a good job on being kind of a yeah, thanks. guy that we don't really know where we have him. Yeah, I, I like the part where I shaved. So, right. Interesting character. So do you like, I've been asking a lot of actors this, if you like to scare people, make them cry or make them laugh I really, more? I like making them laugh. Uh, but uh, yeah, because I don't get the chance to scare people that often, so this is different for me. Do you getting into that kind of mentality as this guy has? How do you how do you do that as an actor? Why do you think it's different? It's not so much different from the way I think. <laughs> it's just he he just kind of a little off. You think at first. You don't quite know that he's as nuts as he is. I saved your life by bringing you here. You know, so it's just trying to keep that balance of, of, of seeming normal. And then later on, you know, you kind of realize that he's, he's not a guy that you want to take to lunch or get stuck in a Volkswagen with for hours. No. So what is your relationship to supernatural things? Do you believe? Oh, you know what? We shot this movie in New Orleans, in my first house in New Orleans, and I don't believe in this stuff. But I think I lived in a haunted house. There was just too many unexplained things that went on in this place. Plus, I, <clears throat> it, it, it just emanated, and pardon a word from the 60s, it emanated bad vibes. It was. Uh, kind of a depressing place. It was a, an old uh, plantation. Wow. And, 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 and there was a lot of unexplained noises, presences, uh, people saw things, uh, things moved. Uh, yeah, it was just weird. So I'm, I, I can never rule anything out that I don't know about or, or try to make sense of. Hmm. Do I make any sense? Right no, yeah, you, you do. do. But I'm just like living in your story because it was, uh, yeah, no, I am anything too. Because you never, we never know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, you, you, like... you don't know. I like to keep an open mind. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's an explanation for everything somewhere down the line, but uh, you, you never know. <laughs> so you, you're in a, in an industry that's kind of scary in itself. Yeah, I it's think. got a lot of jerks in it. it yeah. <laughs> so. Did you ever doubt that you wanted to continue being an actor? Just on a totally different note. You know, it was something I, I always, I had to have faith in because I really didn't think I was good enough. So there, there was a faith in myself that I kept going. And I, I went to a Broadway show one time, somebody gave me tickets and I, I couldn't afford a ticket for a Broadway show. And I saw this guy, he, he was, just stinking up the place, and I said, you know what, I can do this. I, c I could do that, yeah. And it, that kind of kept me going, and a little bit of encouragement, because I, you know, I, I did a lot of, a lot of rotten stuff. Uh, man, and then there's just the business itself that, that, that makes you want to leave it sometime. You know, it, does, it doesn't have anything to do with acting, the pure thing. Um, and that's more in movies than it is in theater. I mean, I did a play last year and I was in heaven because I got to actually act. Don't look at them. <laughs> no, she was look doing that. I have, to, I have to look no, at her. But it, it, it was, it, yeah, it was all about the acting. Yeah, the other stuff in the business will drive you nuts. Great, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>